Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the CSS object fit property. This video is going to be a small yet so important video because in this video we are going to see how CSS object fit property is used to make a web page look more neat and clean to the user. So in this video tutorial, we are going to take a look at the syntax and usage of the CSS object fit property. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's start with CSS object fit property. Now, images plays a vital role when it comes to a web page, right? If your website have so many images, then it will be easy for the user to understand what these images depict. So CSS object property is used to define how an element, an element, by element we mean an image or a video tag, if you have used any in a HTML page, so those elements, how they should fit within their container. So we have a number of, uh, what we can say, elements present on a web page, right? Now, how those elements should fit within their container. So you'll understand it much better with the help of an example. So let me just take you through an example directly. So first thing first, we are going to create a container. Let's say I'm naming this div class as container and I'm adding an image over here, fine. So SRC, I have images folder present and inside this I have special picture, which is, okay, I forgot the actual name. And then we have the image as group.png and we'll use the alt attribute as well. So it is an alternate. So let me just write here alt as example in case the image if the image does not open then what will happen we will have to use the alt attribute now the next part is we have to add the CSS so here we are with the style tag now save this program you can see we have this image this image looks cute right I know so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to style a container so we'll write here container we are going to create a container first let's say we are creating a container of width 300 pixel and height fine height let's say i'm taking as 200 pixels now border we will also use so let's say i'm writing border one pixel solid and black in color so here you can see this is our box and this is our image ideally the image should fit inside the box right so how we can fit this image inside that particular container of ours as you can see here we have div class as container and we have the image present inside the division right so it means that the image height and width is already different now the next thing we can do is we can just write here img img is our tag we haven't used any id or class so if i'm writing here width as 100 percent 100 percent of its parent element if I'm writing a height as 100% again and we have to use this here, we have to use semicolon as well. Now, the last thing we are remaining with is the object fit property. How the object should fit inside the box. Let's say if I'm writing here cover, if I save this now, so here you can see we have this image. The image is not completely visible, right? That's because of the object fit property. The image has taken width as 100%. In simple words, in this example, we set the width and height of the container to 300 pixels and 200 pixels respectively and added a border to the container to make it visible. So here you can see our border is visible. Then we set the width and height of the image to 100% to ensure it fills the entire container and we set the object fit property to cover. Now this object fit property means that the image will be scaled to cover the container while maintaining its aspect ratio and any parts of the image that exceed the container will be cropped. That's the property of the cover value. So object fit has different values. The first one is cover. Let me just take you through another object fit value which is contain. Fine. If I'm writing here contain, save it. And here you can see now the image is completely visible. It's contained inside the 
container. So in this example, the object fit property is set to contain. This means that the image will be scaled to be fit within the container while maintaining its aspect ratio and any empty space within the container will not be filled by the image. Fine. I hope this example must have helped you understand how to use object fit property. Fine. Now let's go through some of the possible values of the object fit property and their effects. So the first one we have is fill. So when the object fit property is set to fill, the image is stretched to fill the container. Regardless of the aspect ratio of the image, this can cause the image to become distorted. Now what we have to do is we just have to take contain from here. I'll remove it and I'll write over here fill. Fine. So this is the property. Save it. And here you can see the image is now distorted. It's not looking that good, right? The aspect ratio of the image is changed. Contain was better than fill, right? If I write here contain, so here you can see the image looks good actually. We can also see if we have any other image over here. So let's see if we have any image. Okay, we have an image as wood.png. Let's try this one. So here you can see. It's contained. This is the image. It's contained within the container. If I write here fill. So here you can see the image is filled. It's not looking that distorted, but the image is actually distorted. It's not the actual size or aspect ratio of the image. Fine. So this is how the fill property work. The next one is none. If I will write here none, nothing will happen as expected. Save it. And here you can see we are not even able to see the image clearly because the image size is so large for this particular. If I remove this style sheet from here and show you guys the actual image size. So here you can see this is the image size. Even the 25% of our browser is not enough to show the whole image. So that's the actual size of the image. That's only because of the Okay, we have to just do this. The only reason that this image is fitted inside this container is because of the object fit property. No matter how large your image is, no matter what resolution of your image is, we can fit it inside any container with the help of object fit property. So none. So when the object fit property is set to none, the image is displayed is at its original size. Disregarding the container size, this can cause the image to overflow the container. Of course, the image overflowed. Fine. So that was none. Now the next one we have is scale down. So when the object fit property is set to scale down, the browser will compare the contain and none options and use the smaller of the two. So if I write here, scale down and save it. So here you can see browser the browser or the css compared the two which are contain and none it compared both the options and used the smaller of the two so in this case the contain is smaller than none right so that's why it used contain if the image is larger than the container it will be scaled down to fit and if this if it's smaller than the container it will be displayed at its original size the next two are contain and cover, which we have already discussed. Let me just show you once again quickly what contain does and is the value of contain and what cover does is this. It will cover the whole image. It will make the image a little distorted. Fine. So this is how we can use the CSS object fit property. This property is not so hard to learn, but it's very important to add images to a web page. Sometimes it will happen that you'll add an image to a web to your web page, but you'll not be able to fit that image inside a particular container. Then at that particular point, this object fit property is used. Fine. So some of the use cases of the object fit property are responsive images, image galleries, video players and banner ads. So whenever we are playing or whenever we are adding images and videos to a web page, keep this thing in mind. The object fit property is your one place to go. So with that, we are done with object fit property. I hope you guys must have got a good idea about this property in CSS. If you still feel like we have missed out on some points related to object fit or if you have any doubt related to any of the topics we have covered in this particular video, 
then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll definitely answer them for you. So thank you so much for being here guys. We'll see you next time in some other video. Until then, keep coding and stay tuned to Simply Code.